All right, I'm very excited because I'm learning about my ancestral journey. About eight weeks ago, I was in here swabbing my cheek with a cotton swab and sending my DNA to National Geographic. It's called the Genographic Project, and they compare your DNA to the DNA of others and kind of give you your origins, where you came from. And this is a little bit different than the Ancestry.com DNA kit that you get. The science is thick. It's a very dense set of information that they give you, but I'm going to focus on more of the uh, the surprises that I found with what my parents and what my grandparents have always told me about our lineage and what this actually found. So here's what the results look like. As you scroll down here, you can see I am 1.1% Neanderthal. Or for my anthropology folks out there, Neanderthal which is, I guess, okay. I don't know. The average is 2.1, and I'm way under that. So does that mean I'm less of a blockhead? Now, this is where it can get pretty scientific with the deep ancestry. This is interesting because I feel like a lot of people think, well, I originated in Germany or whatever. But you can come into here, and you, you have your maternal line and your paternal line. And you start, let's just start with the maternal line. Everything begins in Africa on both sides. Now I'm gonna come back out here and I'm gonna say, uh, now here's a look at the regional ancestry. So this is 5,000 to 10,000 years ago. This is still a pretty long time ago. Uh, but if you come into here uh, and you say, explore your results. Now here's the interesting part for me is that my parents and my grandparents have always said German, Norwegian, Sweden, those are the countries that have always come up in conversations about my ancestry. So here's the interesting part is that Great Britain and Ireland are like the, the main nugget of, of uh, lineage here. Great Britain and Ireland. So I have a lot more Irish blood in me than I ever thought I did. The Scandinavian part, that's not really surprising. But then you get down here, Southern Europe and into Finland and Siberia, Eastern Europe, and Central Asia even. So if you scroll down here, it says my first reference population is British or England. And you go down here to the second reference population and it's Scottish. So I don't know, very interesting stuff. I didn't really realize that there was so much Irish and Scottish in my bloodline, but uh, according to the Genographic Project, that is the case. So would I recommend getting your DNA tested? Sure. I mean, this is a really fun thing. I, I don't think I've ever really been involved in the whole like family tree thing. Where did we come from? The origin story of my family. And I think that it's kind of eye opening. It's a really cool thing to do. So the genographic project is the really deep one. That's, that's one that's really going to give you a lot of dense scientific stuff. If you're looking for more of like a surface level thing, Ancestry.com has one. I'm not 100% sure on how deep they go, but I know that it's a, it's a little more surface level than the Genographic Project. Again, uh, it's it's up to you. There's, there's several other kits as well that you can get on the internet, but um, I would definitely recommend the Genographic Project to kind of have some fun, see where you came from.